Hello computing students. In my last video, I showed you how to convert a binary to a denary number. Now this week, let's try the reverse. Let's try a denary to a binary number. Let's start. So over here, we have uh, November 2020 computing O-Levels paper 1, question 8C. Explain how the denary number 120 is converted into binary. Now when we come to this denary to binary conversion, there are two methods. We'll use the division by two method here. Now the general principle here is you keep dividing the number by two and you use the remainder to form the binary number. So what you do when you have this question is you have a table with three columns. The first column is denary number. The second column is the quotient. The third is the remainder after the division. So what you do is divide the number by two. So 120 divided by two will be 60. It's a whole number. Remainder is zero. Now, you bring this to the next column, next row. 60 divided by 2 is 30, remainder 0. 30, 30 is here, sorry. 30 divided by 2 is 15, and remainder 0. 15 divided by 2 is 7, but there's a remainder here, so remainder 1. Then 7 divided by 2 is 3, remainder 1. 3 divided by 2 is 1, remainder 1. 1 divided by 2 is 0, remainder 1. So there you have a 7-digit uh, binary number to complete it we'll just add a zero here and what you do is you read from the bottom up so your binary number will be zero one 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 zero 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 and now you've got it now you try this convert your age into a binary number and put it in the comments below right like and follow us at computing for more tips on how to prepare for your o-level computing paper